I save names are very useful. Welcome back to Timber Bonus. <laughs> I always nearly say Timber Bonus, but that would be horrible and different. Yes, hello fellow engineers. Welcome back to the Timber Bonus. It's a new dawn. It's a new day and I'm feeling good. Uh, so it's now the end of the dry season, which means we can come back to here and we can turn all of our middle area, the water pumping stations, the shredder that requires power and stuff. We're going to turn all of these back on. Uh, however, as you can see, building lacks workers. We're a bit short of workers on the old Patreon side. And that's sort of because we've got everyone in... Actually, what are you doing? <laughs> Do some work. <laughs> I was going to say it's because we've got everyone in this distribution post hauling loads of goods over to the YouTube members across our super mega bridge uh, so they can build some housing. However, I think they don't have enough storage. So you can see all these warehouses, they are completely full. So what I'm going to do, we're going to build another one or two. Yeah, I'm not going to build the large ones, even though they are a thousand capacity, just because it takes 80 planks and that's too many planks. So we're just going to do lots of small warehouses. Yeah, and I think we're going to cross over this side and we'll sort of fill this area a bit. Another one there, another one there. All right, that's quite a lot of warehousage. So I think if we prioritize a few of these, Actually, sorry, let's just prioritize all of them. We need to build some path and path in the dark. All right, sourced. Then we should be able to store enough materials so that the patrons keep bringing it over so we can continue building. <laughs> the mega dong skyscraper. It's going to take so long. I don't even know if they're going to be able to build it. Like, it might be too tall, like too far away from the distribution post. Because can you see, like, when I click on this, can you see, like, a green line appears? That sort of shows the range. So, obviously, close to the distribution post, that's nice and green because everything's in range. But as you get along a path that's far away, it goes darker and darker red until eventually, can you see down here, this little end bit of path doesn't have a red line on. So, no beavers can actually get there. Uh, so, we might have to do something a bit crazy and sort of build some district centers in the air. I, I <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll just leave it going for now. We'll see We'll see what happens. Oh man, it's so cool. Like, look at that. <laughs> it's going to look so cool. Anyway, look at that. It's another morning. People... Ooh, the patrons, they're waking up hungry and thirsty. Hopefully they can go sort that out. We click over here. We do have a thousand water, but we don't have a lot of food. Maybe we need to work on our food production, do we? We've got people making pizza. Yep, you... <laughs> Right, and that's got power. You can see that all spinning. What a beautiful shape that is. Oh, no, it stopped. It stopped. Oh, it's going again. It's not very consistent. Is that because... Do I need to lower... I think this one has to be zero, doesn't it? Just to, like, get the water running through. There you go. Yeah, I think that's what we had to do on that one. All right, meanwhile, down here, lots of water storage. Yeah, that's looking good. Right, now you can see our shamers. They're helping create planks. There's not a lot of plankage going on. I think maybe if we prioritize these by haulers, then the builders will stay in there. Because at the moment, I think as soon as they make a plank, they're sort of leaving. Like, where is the fork? There he is. Yeah, like he's bringing his own logs over to turn into a plank. And I think when he makes a plank, he then takes it away and all sorts. They're wasting time, basically. So I think now we've prioritized those by haulers. Uh, someone else should be doing that job. Hang on, look over here. There's still no power. Why is there no power? No wonder we're low on food. Right, we might have to fix this somehow. Maybe we could dynamite another channel out. The water is moving down here, but it's just really slow. Anyway, let's shove a dynamite on there. I'm pretty sure no one can reach that. No, there's no paths or anything. So we're going to have to put a temporary platform in. And then a path on top of that. And then they can reach that to build it. Uh, and I'm going to get rid of some of these trees. Because I feel like we are going to have to do this. So demolish buildings. Mark resources for demolition. Get rid of that strip. Oh god, oh god. Right, I've just hit pause because down here at night time, which is dangerous, has flooded into the strongest shaped flood you can see. <laughs> Why is it that shape? <laughs> but yes, I remember over here we've got this dam and we need to lower the middle one by 0.5. There you go. And that just lets out water constantly from this end. Just a very small amount which prevents this end from flooding into the strongest flood. Oh god, that looks disgusting now. It's got a bell. Yeah, anyway, oh, we can also turn these pumps back on as well. I tell you what, because we've got so much water pumpage down here, I might actually get rid of these ones. Or should I just leave them running? I might leave them running. We need more bloody beaver. Where's all of our beavers? They're all like running around doing nothing. All right, I tell you what, we're going to pause science for the meantime. Pause, pause, pause. And it is nice to see everyone enjoying the campfires and the temple that we built last time. Although, is it? Is it on fire? Is it meant to be? Is it meant to be a fire on top? <laughs> that seems a bit dodgy considering it's all made out of wood. Anyway, bedtime for these beavers. They're all going into their awesome mega apartment, which the beavers played in last episode. That was fun, wasn't it? 
<laughs> that was three hours of my life that I'll never get back. Um, meanwhile, if we head over to the YouTube members, I wonder if our first few bits of housing... No, there's still some beavers sleeping rough, and uh, you are getting a bit close to the puddle meat. Oh, Jason, I'd be a bit worried sleeping there. You might want to sleep up here like it's icy. Think like an engineer, not an architect. <laughs> yes, I know the carrots look soft, but they're dangerous. That's good. What isn't good over in the YouTube members, we've got six unemployed beavers. That is insane. So our builder's hut that we built last time. We're going to add two more slots in there. So I've got these four lovely beavers that are going to be help building the mega tower. Uh, we've still got space for two more. Are there any jobs that aren't doing anything? No, they're all pretty full up. I think then we just come down to labor and we build another builder's hut. Yes, there's going to be 10 planks, but we should be able to build stuff a lot quicker. So if we plonk that there, I love the shape of this building. There's a lot of buildings this shape actually in this game. Maybe that's why I'm so attracted to it. <laughs> uh, right, so path along there and along there. Prioritize that, and then we should be good. Right, back to the Patreons. They have built this dynamite, so let's press explode. I love pressing this button. Boosh. Nice. Right, so the question is, will that provide enough water? Mo that hasn't, that literally hasn't done anything. Look, it's like completely still the water. <laughs> oh, God. Right, delete that path. Delete that platform. Yeah, literally no movement. So what we're going to do, where we've been digging up these trees, we're going to have to dynamite this as well. So dynamite along there and that one down there as well. And once that tree's removed, we'll also dynamite that. All right, so there you go. Who is that? Have Actually, Emmy and Kevin, they're all planting dynamite. Nice work, guys. I was actually thinking as well, I might return the favor to the Patreons in that these guys seem to be producing a lot of food. So if we click on there, we've got 600 food over this side, whereas the Patreon side... Only 500 food, but there's like four times as many beavers over there. I can also see these have stopped working. So breeding has been halted because they're waiting for nutrients. You can see there's no berries. If we come up to food, we actually we don't have any berries. And this is our berry area. Uh, they've all been picked. There's no there's no berries to be had. I think part of the problem is distribution post. We're taking berries over to the YouTube members. So I might turn that off for now. And then we've got a forester there. So what I might do, I might plant some berries just down in that space or in fact i tell you what i'm gonna do something a little bit different i'm gonna build a new forester hut so is that in wood yeah forester hut you will go there but we're not gonna be planting trees we're gonna be planting berries so all of that and that little strip and that that will be berries we'll then come into food where we can put a gatherer flag so that person will collect berries and oh no it's another night someone's already sleeping out in the cold oh grant what are you doing, Grant? And who's this? Are you about to go to sleep? A jelly snake rebel? They're only three years old. They actually live in the row house. They've just come to see like what a homeless beaver looks like. They're like, nah, not for me that. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to school, I'm gonna work hard. I'm gonna become an engineer so when I'm older, I can continue living in this amazing row house. What a lucky beaver. But yeah, so that's gonna be berries to keep this side self-sufficient in berries. Meanwhile, the patrons' berries, as they grow back, that should feed their own production. So they're all doing their own berry thing now. Uh, but this green area, we're going to plant this up to the max. So if like this side, we do three farms, maybe one there, one there, another one there, just to make sure it's all covered. And we'll do paths to all of them, sorted. And then we're just going to plant carrots. So if we come down to plant crops, we can just say carrots. I would do like the other ones, but that's quite a lot of jobs. Like to do all the cooking of potatoes and bread and just think this is a bit more efficient in terms of the number of jobs we have. Right, and any tile with green on can be planted on. So we'll do like that sort of thing. Yeah, ideally, you want to move those trees. Are they in range of the... No, they might just have to be builded, so demolished. All right, so once all these farms are built and we start collecting the food, I'm then going to set up a distribution post in the other direction so the YouTube members can give the patrons food. What a lovely society we live in. Why can't everyone get on like this? Uh, anyway, right, up here, the dynamite's nearly done. Why haven't you been removed? You're not too far from anything, are you? All right, put it on high priority now. If we... Just wait. Will someone come and remove it? I think that's a no. <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> oh, because annoyingly, I think if I built a path along here, it would be in range. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that then. Oh, I'd love to detonate these. I'm going to have to demolish them because I can't build a path under them, I don't think. No, you can't build a path underneath. But if I detonate them, then the water level will go down. And look, just doing that, that is in range. Can they build that now as well? Yes, they can. Sweet. Okay, that was the right thing to do. That's always good to see. Alright, let's detonate that one. Boosh. 
I don't think that's going to affect anything for now until we do this. And what I what I want to do, I want to build this one down. So I'm going to have to build this dynamite first with a gap. So otherwise we'll set off a chain reaction. And we don't want that. So landscaping, dynamite there. High priority. Someone come build it. Oh, it's the next day already. Right, it's a new morning. The beavers are rushing over to complete this dynamite. Oh, looking at this actually. Can you see that one it was only one deep anyway so i can just do all these at once right okay that's good so for some reason i thought this end piece was like deeper than the rest but that's fine we'll get that one built and then we can demolish the path and dynamite up there i'm gonna use that down under thunder 63 and still plugging away right that's beautiful detonate and press play boosh 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 oh that went quick and then slow that was weird Aha, so we're getting some movement now. I'm a bit worried only having a one width exit might cock things up. We might have to widen the lot down there. Oh god, it's flooding down there. It's flooding. <laughs> oh no, I'm an idiot. I didn't build the flood gate balls. Oh, why did I hit detonate? The button was so shiny and red. I just had to press it. Oh, we have cocked this. Let's just see if we go into landscaping and we build a floodgate. Can anyone build that? They might be able to because we still got the path length. They might just come around there. Let's high prioritize that and see if anyone comes to build it. Will they just go through the forest? Yes, they are. Phew. We saved it. Oh god, and we need to do it fast because we got flooding down here. Oh, look at the wheels though. The wheels are spinning. Oh god, what is that? Oh, I just realized while looking at these passed out beavers, Thunder Cookie and Secret Asian Tran, I missed. Uh, there's a path. We need to do a path down there. So now they can get to the final small warehouse. And if we press escape, they're actually building this pretty quick. Look at that. That's only been like two days. That's what we call progress. How many homeless beavers do we have? We've still got seven homeless beavers. Okay. <laughs> still got some work to do. Oh, look over here. Someone enjoying the campfire. Who is this? Strongest shape, best shape. <gasps> Oh my god, the prophecy was true. Right, we will need to keep an eye on you. You're only one at the moment, so you can't do a lot. But we, get, we have great plans for you. Great plans. Uh, anyway, over here, aside from the flood... Oh god, it's flooding. Yeah, it's flooding. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we basically got too much water coming. I'm surprised, actually. I would have thought because there's only one feeding it and one going out, I wouldn't have thought it would flood. Uh, but it does. And then they can't use a farm, which isn't ideal. Anyway, there's there's like deaths and births all over the place. I literally can't keep up anymore. There's Look at this. It's just carnage. So many deaths and births. But I'll tell you what I do like to see. Beavers using our brick. Look at him. Look at him fly. Who is that? Lord Finish 2.0. Absolutely cheesing it. The strongest shape. Uh, absolutely loving the bridge. Although they are sort of inside another beaver. Man, I'm impressed with how quickly this is going up. Not going to lie. We're actually making some fat planks now. Look, we got 410. So this is just limited by how quickly the builders can build. In which case... Yeah, our builder's hut only has two people in, Josh and Lobster, and we have two unemployed beavers, so I think we will increase that. So now Jamie and a Jelly Snake Rebel are both buildering, so this should go up a little bit quicker again. Uh, meanwhile, our farms are still... they're still not quite built yet. I could prioritise them, but I'm just... I'm loving this. <laughs> I love that it actually gets built like an actual building. So you'll notice modern buildings, they tend to build like this middle bit first. And that's generally, it's like, it's usually like a concrete block going up. And generally it's the elevator shaft. And basically like modern buildings, they sort of, they have this middle concrete shaft thing, which, <laughs> shaft, which provides a lot of the strength to the building. And they sort of build around that with steel and glass, like these bits. If we were to glaze this, this would literally be like a modern building. Pretty much how they're built as well. But yeah. Pretty impressed with myself there. Real engineering in the timber borners. Who'd have thought it? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm also thinking down here, there's like, all of these are like completely filled with water. I'm wondering, is it worth, like, if I demolish that tree, is it worth putting another large water tank there? Because that will hold another 300 capacity. In fact, it might be worth, like now we've got some gears on us. We've got 53 gears. If I demolish these three water tanks, because I only hold 30 water each. And like for the same space, we can put another large one in. And everyone likes a large one. And yeah, once this tree gets removed, we'll also put another large water tank in there. Because uh, I'm just a bit worried we've got like five jobs here and they're not really doing anything because all the storage is full. And as I said before, I might delete these ones. So real civil snap, some Francis dam, Vespion, you're, you're in trouble. You might be out of a job. Oh, speaking of which, the bloody gristmill, there's no one working in it. Oh God, right, I'm going to pause these. 
I don't think we need to pump wards from here. We'll leave one. We'll leave you, Vespion. You, you can keep doing what you're doing. No, maybe not. Because still no one's working in that one. Right, Vespion. Maybe you can go in it if we pause you. Yes, there we go, Vespion. You are our grist miller. Although we don't have anyone working in the bakery either. Then it doesn't have any flour yet anyway. Oh, this is a disaster. Right, who can we bring over? Maybe we can reduce some haulers. All right, so the real quantity surveyor, you've been promoted. You are now a baker. And hopefully that will help sort the food situation out over here. Oh, but look, since we've stopped exporting berries, we've now got 46 ourselves, which should mean... Yes, look at all the births. We've got loads of births. Oh, although bloody power stopped again, hasn't it? Urgh. Although I think I like... I sort of built a failsafe in this system because this uses up 60 HP. Wait, each of these water wheels produce 180. Yes, yeah, so when they're both spinning, this has like four times the amount of power it needs. So I think that's just fine. We can not worry about that anymore. All right, so how big is our Patreon area? It spreads all the way over to there. And sort of that's the extreme limits this end. Okay, because what I wanted to think about doing is sort of making a new sort of rivery thing over this way. So if we put a path in along here... How does that extend our range? Right now it's in this bit. Nice. So if we want to extend the range around there, we're going to have to demolish these resources and just put a path in instead. That's fine. All right. So now we can reach all of that. That's great. So what I was thinking, we path all the way down to here, build some steps down. And basically, you can see the water source of these rocks in here. So we've got water spawning there. So what I'm going to do, I think... Yeah, along that strip, we're going to say demolish those. And then I'm going to want to put dynamite along there. I'm just sort of dodging the trees because I can't be asked to dig up. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, actually. No, 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 no. Looking at levels, I don't want to do that. Or do I? Yeah, I do. I do. All right, so let's just path over to that. So hopefully that's all in range once that gets built. So we'll prioritize that. So that's all good. And then I want to build some sort of aqueduct sort of thing. Now, I know we can't have gaps underneath, so we're going to have to delete our path under there. So we'll delete all of that and that little piece. Now, because what I want to do, I want to use levees. We're basically going to build an aqueduct over to here. So we're going to have to get rid of those trees. But if I build the ones that I can, all right, so they're the gaps. So they're the ones I'm going to say demolish all those trees. Uh, but of course, we're going to need a path down there so they can do that. So let's put steps in there and a path over to there-ish. And what we're going to do, I'm going to actually put a path along the top. It'll be like that. And then over this side, we're going to dynamite. And then water will just run down there. And that would be lovely, I think. All right, so another huge construction project, even though I haven't finished the last ones. <laughs> uh, that is the way of the timber borners. Uh, meanwhile, food seems to be sorting itself out. We've got some cooked potatoes. We've also got bread, which is fantastic. So it means we've fixed our problems over here. Turns out this guy does have a use after all. <laughs> and we all thought they were useless. Uh, meanwhile, how are these guys getting on over here? Uh, they're just short for planks, it seems. If we click on that, do they have planks? No, they don't have any planks at the moment. So we've got to send more planks over. Uh, can I add a new route of like the same thing? So if I say take things over to that one, can I add more planks or are planks already taken? Oh, I can. So we've got eight people to play with. I mean, the contractor, you're in the right place. You're not really a contractor. You're just a laborer at this point. But uh, let's uh, let's get some more planks over. So you basically want all of our planks that we're producing going over to the YouTube members. Oh, and over here, you can see we've got space for another water storage. So we'll go large water tank, plonk you in there. We'll do a path there. Sorted. I love the morning commute. Look at this. You just love to see it, don't you? you just love to see it. Ah, right over here, the dynamite is in place. So I think we'll detonate this. Boosh! Fast motion detonations. <laughs> and then you can sort of see how our canal is going to work. So we can detonate those two, and we can detonate these, I think, because the water level is a lot lower than that. Yeah, so then if we line this bottom channel with dynamite then when we detonate them that's when the water will be released now i'm also going to plonk two more in there as well and i think i got to get rid of that one just so they can get to this one but yes that'll be good that'll be very good oh dear there's a pad there's a padster he wants a strike he's a good dog what a good boy he's getting the belly rubs he's getting the belly rubs what a good boy there's going to be a plushie of you, Pad. Oh, spoilers. Let's hope no one heard that. Let's hope my microphone's not turned on. 
All right, anyway, back over here, you can see you can see the tower is taking shape. It's taking the strongest shape, which I'm very, very pleased with. Uh, still quite a long way to go. <laughs> oh, man, I forgot how tall I made this thing. It's so tall. I was impressed with, like, the three stories we've done. Anyway, water level down here is a bit low, so I'm going to just push some water through the system. I love doing this. I just love the water physics in this game. I don't know why. That will top up the bottom a little bit. Just a slight little flood and then we'll close that up. So now that one's closed and the water should just fill this up without causing too much of a flood. Look at them all just building. Are you building or are you like waving? Are you waving at the person below you? Who is that? Tian Minar. Who are you waving at? Are you waving at this dude? You're waving at John T. Woodbridge. Well, with a name like Woodbridge, I can see why. Thankfully, we've had no more shamers. So the shame wheels have been just 75% full. Uh, we've still got this guy. I know there's been a bit of a bit of a movement in the comment section, but no, he will not be released. The name is disgusting. And these two guys, RC looks like an architect and architects over engineers. Of course, they are still in there. How old are they now? They must be getting on. 64 architects over engineers and 59. That's that's quite a long sentence. <laughs> They've literally been in there since they were born. But oh no, God King Emperor of Beaver Kind has died of old age. Oh no, he was going to be the savior. Well, now it's up to you. Strongest shape, best shape. You know what you've got to do. Anyway, guys, peace, love, and half completed. Well, not even half completed. One-tenth completed skyscrapers. I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers for running. Bye.